Welcome at the Royal Conservatory of The Hague. I'll be showing you the school like you haven't seen it yet. The nuts and bolts, if you will. Where do you go for a book? How do you get a microphone from the technical department? Let's go inside. The first thing you see when you enter the building is the reception. And in the reception is Mr. Bob from Pamelen. Hi. Hello. So what do you do exactly here? Uh, I'm sitting here, watching on the screen uh, uh, the video. And uh, I can see a lot of things in the building. Uh, then we have here the side for the keys for the rooms. They can use the room to give this card, the student card. They can use it one and a half hour. When they are finished, then they're coming back downstairs or somebody take the room over and come down to get this card, maybe for another room or another time. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. At the electronic workshop, you can borrow electronic gear using your student card for the support of your studies. Also, if you're interested, you can get help to support and develop your own custom electronics. The Schoenbergsaal is mostly used for classical concerts ranging from solo to full orchestra projects. As a classical student, it's a real honor to be able to play and rehearse music in a hall like this. The case von Barenzaal is where most of the jazz, ballet and opera productions will be held. Right now we're looking at the rehearsals for the Agrippina performance by Handel. The administration floor is a pretty important one, though it took me a long time to figure out who does what, where. Here are some of the people to get you started. So here we are at the planning office where I'm meeting Saskia and Diana. So, girls, what do we do here? Uh, students come here in their first year where they don't understand their schedule or they have questions about it, we can answer them. Or if they need uh, to reserve an instrument or a rehearsal room or anything's possible. But it has to do with the rooms and schedules. They come here. If you're an international student, Eugen Eike on the second floor is a very important man for you. He will help you with all the practical problems about coming to and staying in Holland. And if you're a Dutch student, it's very good to know Karel Treling. So there is a difference between Dutch students and foreign, and foreign students. Foreign students have to consult Mr. Eugen Eiken. And the Dutch students, if there are any problems or whatever with study financing, uh, registration at the IBG in Groningen, they have to consult me. At the school's library, you can find any classical tune that you want. And if you're looking for jazz tunes, there's a whole closet full of real books. If you try to print, don't forget to buy a copy card at the canteen. You know your way around the school now, but the last thing you need to know is, who are the heads of the departments? Henk van der Meulen, General Director. Susanne van Els, Classical Music, Main Subjects. Wouter Turkenburg, Jazz Department. Gerda van Zelm, Classical Music, Vocal Studies. Wouter Tempelaar, School Music Department. Susanne Konings, Music Theory Department. Martijn Padding, Composition Department. Paul Jeukendrup, Art of Sound Department. Johannes Boer, Early Music Department. Kees Tazelaar, Sonology Department. The Theresiastraat is because it's so close to the school, a very good place to have a drink yeah, after classes. You have sandwich shops, restaurants and even a supermarket to choose from. A lot of times after exams, people will come here together and have a drink. And don't